Sir, where should we send the ambulance? Send it to the freaking moon, idiot. Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all doing really well. Today, I'm going to look at what is currently rated as the top short squeeze candidate at the moment, that being Insignia Systems, ticker symbol ISIG or ISIG. Anyone who has been following the stock knows that it has been hot for about a month now, with the stock jumping on the 3rd of December from a low of $4.94 per share, and as of market close yesterday, it was sitting at $17.89. So currently up more than 300% since the rally started. The stock has remained at these elevated levels for over four weeks, now hitting a peak of just shy of $25 per share. So in this video, I want to take a quick look at some of the news around the company and unpack the current short squeeze effort, as well as give my own thoughts on what I want to do with the stock. So let's get straight into it. So firstly, just having a quick look at the last six months of trade for this stock, we can see that there has been a steady performance from the company, followed by a notable decline in stock price. This decline followed the release of Q3 results, which were not the most flattering for the company as they reflected a larger quarterly loss than had been expected by analysts and was larger when compared to the same period for the previous year. In other words, the company performed better during the height of a pandemic than in the more recent, more normalized period of trade for Q3 of 2021. Obviously, this is setting up a scenario which attracted short sellers to the stock. Clearly, the high and short interest in the stock has captured the eyes of retail investors, which have catapulted the stock as much as 500% higher than its November lows, hence pushing for a short squeeze effort. In fact, a couple of these peaks perhaps reflect some potential short squeeze action that has already occurred. Something else that is potentially behind this astronomical rise for Insignia Systems can be found in a company release from early December, where the company came out and announced that they will be exploring strategic options to maximize shareholder value, making specific mention of potential mergers, acquisitions, business combinations, in licensing, or other strategic transactions. This talk alone will further have attracted retail investors to flock to the stock, as they think the beaten down company may have something big on the horizon. However, the company release goes on to say that there is no assurance that the process will result in any transaction and that there is no timetable for the transaction to follow, making for a somewhat empty statement from the company. Given that this was released just a mere three days into the short squeeze rally, it could be a sign that the company is unofficially trying to fan the flames of retail interest in the stock, because to me, this does not read like anything major to consider if I were a shareholder. All this is is merely a statement that the board of directors are trying to do their job and act in the interests of the shareholders. Normally a company would say something when they are trying to conduct a merger or acquisition, etc not take specific steps to mention that they are thinking about potentially looking for such an opportunity. So it's very much like an empty statement from the company. But as we know, short squeezes can erupt from far less than this. Anyway, fan the flames that statement did. The lukewarm company news, as well as the short interest in the stock, caught the eye of retail investors. And perhaps what has really supercharged this effort is this comment made by Ehor Dunazulwiski. No idea how to say his name. Basically, this is a stock with a small market cap, small float, and a tiny amount of borrowers available. There will be virtually no short selling in this stock due to lack of stock loan supply. Basically saying short sellers are in a bind due to the small number of stocks this company is compiled of. It is a tiny company with a very small float of less than 2 million shares. Moving on to examining the key short starter, we can see just how hot this short squeeze play is right now. The stock earns its first place ranking on Fintel due to having a huge 61.64% of its total float currently being shorted. A situation that is further exacerbated by the mammoth shorts borrow fee of 479.8% per annum and the very short average time to cover. Basically, this means short positions have to pay over 1% of their short holding value in interest for every day they can't cover, which is quite a lot compared to most other borrow fees out there. The one saving grace for ISIG short sellers is that only 20% of the shares are currently held by insiders and institutions, which means that as long as retailers are buying and selling, they will be able to cover their positions. These figures on their own look like an almost unlosable short squeeze effort. But as always, when you are involving humans and their behavior, nothing is ever certain. Finally, just some general data I want to look at is the fundamentals underpinning the stock. Now, Insignia Systems has been around for a while. It has been a public company since 1990. So in many ways, it is a mature company, hence the positive tangible book value of $2.45 per share. Notably, this is a decline from the same period of the previous year when 
this figure was $3.81 per share. So there has been a significant decline in the net assets associated with the business, but it is still in a healthy position, especially when compared to some other short squeeze candidates we've looked at in the past. What gave iSeq a bit of a shock was their decline in quarterly earnings compared to Q3 of the previous year. However, it is worth noting that they are in a much healthier position overall for 2021 than they were in 2022 in terms of overall financial performance. Still, however, they are running losses, which is something I think any shareholder should be taking note of. Overall, the business is in a healthy equity position, but it is being hurt by the large liabilities they have recently accrued, which is taking its toll on the company's bottom line. So if you are left holding the stock, you are holding a business that is seeing its overall net assets erode at present, albeit at a slowing pace. So some final thoughts about ISIC. Overall, Insignia Systems has some extremely attractive short squeeze potential, which is further compounded by the company's tiny market cap. This alone could really see the share price skyrocket, hence making this still a very attractive potential short squeeze play to take part in. It is worth noting that the rally has already been going on for about a month now, and the stock price has been very much floating around the $12 to $20 range in this period. How much higher will this short squeeze take the stock's price is really anyone's guess, and you have to now start asking the question of how much longer until short squeeze players start to take profit on this one. In terms of what the company is like, I don't totally hate the financials of this business. However, as is the case with so many heavily shorted companies, it has been weathering tough times of late. Despite a demoralizing setback in Q3, these fortunes appear to be improving and the company has made some loose comments about other actions they may take. So it will be interesting to see if anything develops in this area anytime soon. Personally, I think I'm going to watch the stock and see if a more attractive entrance point appears while monitoring the short situation, more so for a day trading play rather than holding out for a longer term short squeeze. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. What are your thoughts on Insignia Systems? Can it run much higher? Are there any other short squeeze candidates worth having a look at at the moment? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.